In play-by-play, -play, the giveaway that a broadcaster is ill-prepared is when they consistently hesitate to identify players. In the sportscasting job market, the giveaway that someone is insufficiently motivated is when they tell me they can't find an employer's contact information. How do you do that? That's the question that we'll answer in this edition of Q&A with STAA. I'm John Chalesnik. So what do you do when you can't find the contact information for a hiring manager? First and foremost, refuse to be denied. Look on the employer's website. You might have to dig a little bit, but it's often right there. If not, then find somebody else's email address within the office. Usually, the structure of the email is going to be the same. Maybe it's first initial, last name, at workplace.com. If that fails, call the office. Simply ask whoever answers the telephone for the email you seek. They'll often give it to you. If that fails, Google it. The answer to everything is on the internet. Finally, guess, then Google. If you can find the suffix for the company's email address, for example, at stwatalent.com, there are only a small handful of first initial, first name, last initial, last name combinations for the prefix. So Google all those various combinations and you'll often find which one it is. Again, though, refuse to be denied. If you want help in the sports broadcasting job market, you're applying for a lot of positions but not hearing back from employers, we can help you. Join STAA, won't you? I'd love to work with you. To do so, simply click on the link in the notes beneath this video. How do you gauge a high-risk, high-reward job opportunity? That's what we'll cover in the next edition of Q&A with STAA. And if you have a question that you would like addressed in an upcoming episode, email it to us, qa at stawatalent.com.